Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 100 videos, over 150 videos so far I made on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't, I don't have any courses to sell, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So every content I do create or code I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. So it's a win-win situation. But I'll let you choose, and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out, and if it didn't, just drop me a comment, I would be happy to help you out. And here I am again, back with another requested video, as always, which is how to adjust the header menu height padding on your Shopify store by using our own custom code, and we will do that for either mobile or desktop or both of them. So if you want to adjust the header menu, well, I mean padding, the height padding on the mobile only, this video will help you out. And if you want to do that only for the desktop, this video will help you out. And if you want to do that for both of them, this video will help you out as well. So no worries. And we will do that again by using the same code. You just have to customize the code a little bit to make the changes only apply for one of them or both of them. And I will show you that, obviously, no worries. And it's very simple. So without any more talking, Let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. They have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code I do create or share on my channel or uh, in the videos, I do demonstration on down team, which is because it's the most used one and also is the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free, the most used free Shopify teams, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the tricks on all of these teams behind the scenes. I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people. Uh, I just do it on down team because it's the most requested, but behind the scenes, before I record this video you watch right now, I do actually try the trick on all of these teams, the code I mean on all of these teams, so I'd make sure, even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. As I said, I will be happy to help you out, and I just have to say this in the beginning, so I give you that peace of mind, because you're gonna see me on the video doing it on down team, and you might be thinking, oh, it's not working for the others. No, it is. So here is your peace of mind, and without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to adjust the header menu padding height or height padding on your Shopify store, and this is the Shopify store we're gonna do the trick on. And actually, this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every code I do share or trick, I do it on this Shopify store. So everything that you see on this Shopify store was done by using a free code in tutorials on my channel because I don't remove the changes. So every little thing that you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything in here that you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your Shopify store as well, just check out the channel because that video would be already made and posted once it's here on the, on the Shopify store. And again, for the second time, this is, I'm going to show you, which is how to adjust this one right here, the header menu height padding. So if I scroll down in here, it will not be transparent as you can see. And if you are interested in that, I already made that video, obviously. So uh, I will show you how to adjust this height right here to make the header a little bit smaller or bigger or tighter, I mean, with the, with the menus in here. So we will adjust this by using our own custom code. So obviously, we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. Get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And the next thing you're going to do is we need to find the specific file in here. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy or something. Simply use the search bar at the top left corner. Then again, I have to mention this each time. So it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css and some rare custom made teams is gonna be custom.css. But mostly it's base.css or team.css. In my case, I know it's base. I'm gonna type in base. Here it is. Make sure it ends with CSS. After that, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file. Let me drag this. Here we go. So we are at the bottom of the file, but we have no space in here because we need a completely new space to paste in our code and click front of the last thing here, in my case is closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard, 
here we go we have a completely new space as i said because we're going to pass some call and to get that call you need to hire a developer pay him like 24 hours then get back to this video i'm just joking scroll down the description box obviously you're gonna see a link named as call click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful call in here so this little call right here we do will help us do this for the desktop because as i said i'm going to show you how to do that for desktop and for the mobile only or desktop only or mobile only or both of them this call right now that you see on the screen it's gonna do it only on the desktop later i will show you how to customize it to make it only for the mobile then again how to do it for both of them so select the whole code in here make sure to select the closing bracket as well right click copy get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file let me get back in here so i can show you so there is padding in here padding value and uh, you already know what padding is I, I don't have to translate that and there is some numbers here and i think you already know what to do right so simply customize the numbers to get the exact size you want or the adjust the padding the height padding on your on your header so in my case i'm going to keep them like this just for demonstration and we'll see what that will do so let's just get back in here click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds okay save it we will get back in here reload the page and see now you can see how the header looks like right so let's just reload the page check it out it's much tighter on top as you can see if i scroll down as you can see the header is much smaller than the previous version and as i said play around with the numbers to get the exact size you want and again this is will only do this for the desktop because if i switch to the mobile let me switch to the mobile like this let me pick uh, iphone 14 pro max here yeah. it's it's normal it's not resized it's not small this is the default so if we want the changes to apply to the opposite which is apply only on the mobile and not on desktop let's just keep this open and we will get back in here simply on the code let me zoom in on it so you see the first line is uh, uh, media screen and and there is this min dash width so this min stands for minimum simply select this min right here remove it and type in max that's really simple right min to max now let's just click on the save button and wait for a couple of seconds okay we're good to go let's just get back in here reload the page check it out it got much as you can see it got tighter at the top so let's just scroll down here it is as you can see the header looks much much smaller as you can see but if i close this check it out back to the normal size now just as the previous one as you can see so now only the changes only apply for the mobile not for the desktop i know what if you want to apply for both of them easy as said so let's just get back in here and simply you see this line right here where we did the changes select the whole line including the opener bracket remove it that was simple but make sure to remove the closing bracket as well the last one remove it too now if we click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds we get back in here now it's default if i reload the page check it out it got smaller if i scroll down as you can see the header is smaller and if i click on the inspector uh, get back to the previous uh, mobile sorry here it is it got smaller on the mobile as well so now the changes apply for both of them and that's how you adjust the header menu uh, height padding on your shopify store and if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one